Hi guys, it's Down Under Monkey. Today I've got something a little different. It's uh, not really a picking video, but a decoding video. Uh, so I picked up these two Goran bike locks off the local classifieds. Um, the chrome one came with a code, the black one did not. Um, I figured how hard could it be, right? It's a pretty little bike lock. But anyway, so the way they work is this is the little card that comes with this one. Um, you punch in your code, which is 3580. Three, oh, that was already depressed. 3580. And then it makes this really violent click open, which I think is really cool, but really dangerous. Um, and to reset it, there's a button on the back. And when you push that button on the back, it pops all of those buttons back out. If you push in the wrong code, nothing happens. Uh, it's four digit as far as I know, so even if I put in two, it doesn't work. Um, so my first thing was um, decoding. Do the numbers matter if you put them in numerical order, so 3580? No, they don't. So I can put them in reverse, it still operates. That's the first thing I check when I'm doing um, any kind of push buttons like these. Do the combinations matter? This one, numerically, it can go in any order, as long as you have the right, the correct four buttons. And so then I figured, okay, that narrows it down to, instead of being specific one, two, eight, zero, I can have any of those numbers in any order, doesn't matter. So that narrows your, your field of decoding right down. Um, let me lock this one back up. And depress that. So what I did is I started doing various combinations. One, two, three, four, nothing. Uh, then I would try the opposite. Six, seven, eight, nine, nothing. And then I would try the opposite corners. That was going to take a long time. So I figured what I'll do, sometimes if you force these locks to do things they're not supposed to, they actually present the code. So I reset all the numbers. Now, if I get the light just right on this, nothing's depressed. If I push this lever in, can you see number one? Number one's moving. So I thought, okay, that's a good indicator. Let's push one in. What's moving next? Number two and number seven together, nothing else. So I pushed in two and seven. Then I pushed it again. And I couldn't really see any movement. Now, judging by this one. So I know the code for this one. When I pushed it, I, you can clearly see eight moving on its own. Push eight in. We know that's one of these numbers. Okay. Do this again. If you can see what I see in this camera. But there's very minute movement on number three. My hand and this camera being steady is not helping. And now you can see five and zero moving together. And we know already that that's the code. So the fourth number wouldn't reveal itself with this one. So what I did is I just went one, two, seven. They were my base numbers. That just leaves me these to try. So I tried six, nothing. One, two, seven, three, nothing. One, two, seven, eight, nothing. One, two, seven, four, nothing. One, two, seven, nine, and there we go. That's how I decoded the Goran bike lock. Uh, so if you ever come across one of these and you're scared, it's got no code, that may work for you. Push it in, as you're pushing it in, Look for the number movement. And then if you get down to three or even two, that limits it a little bit more. So there you have it. Goran bike lock decoded. Have a great day, guys. Take care.